Shoes! How's it? Have you seen a portable, no power cord, rechargeable blacklight before? Me neither. Until now. Throw away them power cords. All you need is this rechargeable blacklight. It's small, lightweight, and portable. But it still packs a punch. It's about six inches long and about four inches wide and weighs about one pound. So it's very portable. This blacklight is powered by one 20 watt UV Cobb LED that is rated at 395 nanometers in wavelength. It has a half moon lens for maximum throw distance and a beam angle of 120 degrees. It has three power modes, bright mode for maximum output, dim mode to get more of a narrow beam angle, and last but not least, pulse mode to get your groove on. Ooh, 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 ooh. On bright mode, 100% output. They say it lasts about five hours on one charge. So I had to test it out. This is about one and a half hours. I don't see any drop off in output. And this is about the three hour mark. No noticeable drop off in output. We still have about three bars on the battery charge. At about the five hour mark, we have two bars with one blinking. But there isn't any noticeable drop off in output. I'm assuming it's going to be dead soon. And one hour later, one blinking LED and the output has dropped off. I would say we lost about 80% in output. Safe to say from fully charged, we got a good six hours of life. Pretty good if you ask me. On dim mode, so about 50% output, I did some testing. When I say some, about three days worth of seeing how long the charge would last. I checked every few hours and we still had three LEDs lit up in the back. At about the eight hour mark, yes, eight hour mark, we still had all three lit up. At this point, I had clocked about 13 hours and I lost some time and notes. So safe to say, you could probably get about a half day's work on this mode. On pulse mode, I got a good five hours worth of charge. With all the on and off pulsing, I thought it would be a lot less than that. All in all, I'm very impressed how long this black light can hold the charge. But that's not all. There's more. Need more juice on your phone? On the back, there is a USB port where you can charge it. You can also run it with the black light being charged and your phone being charged at the same time. So I wanted to test this in a pitch dark room and see how much throw distance we can get out of this black light. We have to go to the garage to test 20 feet away. Come on, let's go. One of the best use cases for this blacklight is for fishing. Yes, fishing to light up your rods at night. You can wrap your rods or spray it with some kind of fluorescent material. If I can find something out, I'll link it in the description box below, but that would be pretty cool for your rods to glow in the dark while you're fishing. Or you can take this camping to detect them scorpions at night because scorpions do glow under blacklight. So take this camping and get no more buggies in your set. You can also use this for glow in the dark tabletop tennis, which Neonic, the creators of this blacklight have done. I'll link a link to their website in the description box below. Check it out, it's pretty cool. Since I don't fish anymore or camp, I think I'll use these for my Halloween decorations. Most likely on post mode. Now if you made it this far into this video, awesome, because I'm giving away two of these black lights. Big thanks to Neonic for sponsoring this video. The giveaway details are in the description box below. You can also purchase these black lights on their website, but make sure you use promo code UV Blacklights for 10% off and free shipping. What ideas do you have for this black light? Let me know down in the comments. Also, don't forget to watch more black light videos like this. Thank you for watching. Mahalo!